In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to register a company with a step-by-step -step tutorial. But before we get started, cue in the intro. Log in to the CIPC website, which is cipc.co.za, and just verify that you are on the right URL because some people create um, URLs or websites that look like the CIPC website. Once you're on that website, you should have online transacting at the top of your screen. You click on online transacting, then you click on e-services. You can also use Biz Portal to register, and there's another portal that CIPC has created, which is the new e-services. I'm going to take you through the old one because that's what I'm familiar with. I've been playing around. It's not difficult to go into the other ones. You can explore them after this video. You click on e-services the first thing that you have to do is to create your profile on cipc so you will click on customer registration to create your own profile it's going to ask you for your surname and your id number cipc is linked to, is linked to home affairs so they do verify the information that you put on the system so it can pick up if you have a wrong id number or you've got or the id number doesn't match the surname so after you've done that, you complete the process by going through the prompts. I have a profile on CIPC, so I won't be able to take you through that step. Click on transact and proceed to go and look for the CIPC bank details. You will need to use this bank details to deposit the amount that is required for you to register a company. It will cost you 175 to register a company, which is broken down as 50 rands for a name reservation and the 125 rands for a complete regist company registration. So after you've deposited the funds, they will reflect on your CIPC um, balance on the left hand side. Please note when you're doing the deposit, you need to use your customer number. So CIPC issues you with a customer number after you've created your profile so that your amount that you have um, deposited is allocated to your account. It will take a while and you'll have to contact CIPC if you do not use your unique customer number. So take a note of that and have that on the receipt. So when you're doing the, the payment, they ask you for the reference number. That's where you have to have that account number. All right, so when those funds reflect on your CIPC, um, profile then you are ready to get started with your registration log back into your cipc profile by using customer login and put on your credentials then you are ready to reserve the company name that is the first step before you do the complete registration so to click on the reservation you go to transact and then you click on name reservation you will need to reserve about four names for CIPC to work with, CIPC doesn't allow for company duplication, company name duplications. So if, for example, you want to use a company name that has already been used, you can add an extension, for example, Black Hive. So if you like the name Black Hive and you want to use the name, because it's a registered company already, you can actually um, add Black Hive Consulting or Black Hive Services to make it a unique name. But of course, CIPC, there are companies that are restricted that you cannot use the same name. For example, the major banks, you can use their names. CIPC is going to come back to you and tell you if you can indeed use those names. So once you, you've, you, you've reserved those four names, you'll get an email from CIPC after a few days and they'll tell you um, if which name has been reserved and they'll give you a name approval reservation number that you can use for your um, 
complete company registration. Okay then, after you've logged in, you will um, proceed to go to Transact Company Registration. The company registration, you will proceed as prompted to enter your details. CAPC is going to ask you about director information and their ID numbers. So let's talk about a director. A director is the person who is going, to, who's the one of the founding members of the business. So if you're going at this business alone as a sole proprietor, so you are the director. And if you are going into this business with a person, with a partner, then you will enter both director's details with their ID numbers, which are verified on CIPC. Please take note that CIPC will require you to send certified copy of your director ID IDs. So you will have to have those things ready. The incorporator, the incorporator is the person that is registering the company, right? So there's a director, the director can be an incorporator. So if let's say, for example, you have two people that are registering, the, um, sorry, are going to be owners of the company, right? So with those two people, we have John and Mike. Mike is the incorporator, the person that's going to register the company and the profile is going to lie on the on his profile the second one um that does not does not require to have a cipc um profile they can have a cipc profile that company will be listed on their CP, cipc profile after it is registered but it is not required so the incorporator is the person that has the cipc profile that is registering the company so you can actually um Put on the details of the person that is the incorporator and also the director's details. And you capture the address of the business. Your address is the director and your contact information as accurate as possible. It is possible to change this information, but it's um, a lot of admin. So you need to make sure that you are capturing the correct information. After you've captured that information, um, then you lodge a company registration. When you lodge a company registration on your email, automatically you get an email notification that you have lodged a company registration, then you have to wait a few days. Sorry, and also you have to upload the, the document. You do, CIPC does come back to you after a few days, uh, not more than 72 hours with a document that you need to sign. On the documents that you need to sign, you need to sign as an incorporator and you also need to sign as a director. Once you've completed those and you've signed those forms, along with the certified copies of your IDs as the... If you're unsure about how to edit a PDF file, you want to edit a PDF file and complete it online with your signatures, I have a video that I've created on how to edit a PDF file online without printing it and also inserting both your signatures and how to create digital signatures. So check out that video and you can use it when you're completing these forms. So after you've completed the forms, you will log back into CIPC and upload those supporting documents. It doesn't take more than 72 hours for CIPC to come back to you and say, yes, your company has been registered and they will issue you with the tax uh, number for your company already because they, if it's a new company already, that company will be registered with SARS. It will make it easy for you to get a SARS tax clearance or tax PIN for your business. So check out the video on how you do your SARS tax PIN or tax number. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up and do comment down below and let me know what challenges are you getting or have you faced with registering your own company and how would you like me to assist you with that. I'll see you in the next video.